Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor by Impass Life Pro, and for this tutorial, I have something that I've been meaning to show you guys for a while now. Today, I'm going to teach you exactly how to increase shadow distance for the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. Alrighty guys, let's dive into this. Now, if you've ever used the V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra before, then you will have definitely run into an issue of shadows disappearing with distance. Depending on what kind of person you talk to, this may not be an issue, but for me, since I generally work with longer distance shots, I need the shadows to continue to take effect even with longer distances past far. This is what we're going to correct, so let's move to our desktop. You should have the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra Shader unzipped and ready to work with. Let's begin. Double click the folder, and click Shaders. From here, I want you to locate composite.fsh. Open the file. At this point, if you never worked with text files like this before, you might be a little overwhelmed right now. But in truth, this is a time for choice, because this is actually quite simple. Just follow my lead. Okay, first locate line 36, which is where we're going to edit our shadow distance. Replace the value 140f with 540f. Placing a higher value in this case will allow the shadows to remain rendered for a longer distance without them de-rendering into nothingness. But for those that are catching on, I wouldn't try altering the value to something higher. Because of testing now how high a value I could add in, I noticed that with values higher than 540, I'd come across bump mapping errors and lighting glitches on some blocks. Just a little warning, but for those that want to test this, go for it, and don't forget to tell me about it in the comment section. Alright, last step. We need to confirm our shadow distance change, so exit out of this and locate composite1.fsh. Open the file. As of now, locate line 38 and simply repeat the process. Change 140f to 540f. Save and exit the file. Now when you've enabled the shader to be active in Minecraft, the problem will be solved. Your shadows will now exist for much longer distances even above the far render distance, so mission accomplished. But there is a bug I found that may or may not have anything to do with this change, but it has something to do with the position of the sun. As seen in the gameplay, the closer the sun is to the horizon, the crazier the bug seems to become. But once the sun gets high enough in the sky, the bug just disappears. This is something I work around all the time, so just thought I'd let you know about this before I turn you loose. If this video was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you'd be crazy to miss. <laughs> anyway, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.